Uh, what I'd like to do, if I may, is uh, read a couple of uh, short pieces that I wrote within the last fortnight or so while you know, thinking about James and uh, maybe what he meant to us all. Um, and maybe also say a few words about um, how each one of them is related to James as well. Uh, doing this not uh, because I think they're in any way comparable to James's own work, but maybe to give uh, one further example to his family of how um, James you know, inspired all of us while he was around and uh, he will continue to inspire us through our memories of him and uh, through his great body of writing. Um, uh, I don't know really, all of you, but uh, I tend to find I miss most you know, people who are gone when um, in situations where I come across a piece of news or um, a book or uh, an experience and I you immediately think, well, I really would right. I've got to talk to that person now immediately about this. I, I'd love to hear what they have to say about it. And then you realise that, you know, um, because the weekend uh, on which I heard about James's passing was um, especially sad in this regard because it was the weekend that the, um, it was announced that the Large Hadron Collider at CERN had um, you know, managed to confirm the existence of the Higgs boson particle <laughs> and thereby verify our entire model of um, physics. Um, I, you know, obviously James was uh, really passionate about science in general, um, biology was his specialism, but um, he spoke very passionately and knowledgeably to me about uh, quantum physics as well. He knew a lot, lot more about it than I did. But because I knew that he, it's something that he would want to make a response to if he could, I decided to do something along the same lines. Um, so I, I took a paragraph from the Large Hadron Collider website, uh, describing one of the several big questions that the Collider was trying to answer, and broke it up into little pieces, and made each piece the um, first line of a couplet, I then wrote the second half of the couplet, and so I was thinking of James a lot, uh, Essentially, the imagery that I put in there is inspired either by his work or by uh, you know, the Suffolk countryside, which uh, I and you know, many others visited on our way to his funeral. Um, How did our universe come to be resonant with bright likelihoods that the way it is now is not how it always will be or was? The universe started with a big bang, spooking chaffinches from their boughs. But we don't fully understand the ecosystem that these uprisings disrupt, how or why it developed a theory that birds are subatomic particles, the way it did not even try to explain this hypothesis. The LHC will let us see the eggs nestled in each atomic nucleus. How matter behaved a minute ago becomes irrelevant because a tiny fraction of the universe has dispersed over wheat fields. A second after the Big Bang, chaffinches were speckling blue sky pink. Researchers have some ideas of whether any individual bird knew what to expect, but also which genetic hand-me-down taught the flock to expect the unexpected noise, then plot their flight as though descent were law. Um, that may continue with some other questions as well. <laughs> um, on the way to... Uh, James's funeral, who I and a few other folks have been very kindly driven there by Elizabeth and Kathleen, his sister-in-law through the countryside. Uh, in the back of the car, we're having a conversation about James and his many virtues. Uh, Mike Weller made the uh, very astute point that um, the word open appears with great frequency and with great prominence throughout James's poetry, with the poems Open Water and Open Window, both in temporary structures, for example. And for me, that's, that word's a bit of a key to James's personality and writing to such an open guy, open to you know, all the different sciences, different forms of writing, different art forms, different philosophies, and crucially different people. He's one of the most welcoming and friendly guys that I ever met. And you know, I, I know that I benefited from his encouragement and his generosity. I'm sure the same is true of dozens, if not hundreds, of other poets and people in general, too. So uh, I decided to take this fondness of his for the word open and just take that to the point of absurdity, I guess. Um, open season. Open classrooms, open days, open with open questions. Open cities, open plan, open markets, open bidding. Open courts, open verdicts, open up, open wounds. 
Open prisons, open gates, open onto open country. Open books, open into, open air, open roads. Open eyes, open out, open fields, open secret. Open sky, open deck, open ocean, open wide. Open hearted, open minded, open mouthed, open sail. Thank you.